so it is really a privilege for us to uh, have you all today in celebrate we move to open the market. This year at Nkwangi, we decided to host the Integrated Reporting Awards at the JSC and also to open the market for the trading platform to take place. And for us, this was quite significant and it is a significant milestone. So I welcome everyone here from Nkwangi, uh, from specifically Nitesh Patel, the managing partner of Nkwangi. A hearty welcome, specifically to Sarah Gray, the market director of the International Integrated Reporting Committee. Cindy Zilwa, the CEO of Nkwangi. Uh, Tutor Makasa and Konki's lead Well, the survey is really benchmarking the top 100 uh, companies as uh, listed on the GSE uh, against the integrated reporting framework itself to then see how far they are going in terms of embracing this integrated reporting framework. Three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome to the Nkonki Top 100 JSC Listed Companies Integrated Reporting Awards. Uh, my name is David O'Sullivan and I'm going to be your MC for this morning. I'm sure you might, must be aware by now this is the fifth year that Nkonki is recognising the JSC Top 100 Companies. I think my first job here this morning is to say thank you to all of you for what you do in your organisations to embed and implement integrated thinking and integrated reporting because really that's why we're all here. So I'm Sarah Gray and I oversee um, some of our networks internationally because there's interest in integrated thinking and integrated reporting in the academic community, among investors, of course among business, but also in the public sector. So it's about sort of joining the dots between some of those conversations and making sure that we can make progress and help others make progress with their integrated reporting. I'm really excited about what we've been seeing and hearing in the last year because, you know, really important people, that the language of business has changed, that there seems to be a sort of sea change emerging. So I hope I'll do, I'll do you a bit of justice this morning in terms of really giving you insights in terms of um, what we observe with your integrated reports uh, for the past reporting period. In terms of the highlights, uh, what we see coming out of the companies uh, do very well within the reports is the strategic focus within the companies that scored very well and clearly the companies are starting to hone in and really want to communicate with the stakeholders what uh, their strategy is and what their future outlook is and going back again to that sustainability factor they are really trying to communicate to the stakeholders how am I going to be sustainable in the short medium and long term. We've got to look up at the longer term horizon to be able to see what's coming over the hill and to, to really take account of those risks today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now to hand out our awards. In second place, Royal Buffer King Platinum. The awards in themselves are not what drives us. However, it is, it is humbling to, to be placed as high up in, 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 in these awards. Um, Obviously coming first would have been preferred, but I think coming second, given the type of competition that uh, we had to contend with, is um, we cannot be too displeased about that. And our final award, and it's the big one, the winner of the integrated reporting for 2015, in first place, Soho Sun Holdings. It's very valuable to have these awards because it does um, put forward integrated reporting which I think is definitely um, something which helps investors and other stakeholders understand our business. Um, to be quite honest, we don't write the report to win awards and I'm, I'm very uh, honoured to have Tsoko Sun win the award. Um, it's basically to tell our story to uh, and the stakeholders and I'm just glad that we've got some recognition and hopefully having done a good job. 
three things that do stand out uh, out of this year's uh, event uh, I can highlight uh, Sarah Gray coming out of the International Integrated Reporting Council uh, secondly hosting the awards at the JSE um, uh, company or JC building itself and thirdly uh, the amount of time it actually took uh, to communicate the key messages around integrated reporting. Now going back to Sarah, this was very important for us to bring in a, a director within the International Integrated Reporting Council to basically partnering with us and uh, making sure that we are communicating the right message and secondly to make sure that our top 100 uh, listed companies understand what is happening globally which I think some of the key messages coming from her were the fact that indeed South Africa is in the lead when it comes to integrated reporting. I think there's huge value to Nkonki. Um, it's, it's an industry that's um, driven by the, the heavy hitters. It's quite hard to crack into um, getting new clients um, and something like this definitely raises their profile and I think from their perspective um, it's fantastic. From the perspective of integrated reporting I, I do think that South Africa is a leader and I do think that um, driving the integrated reporting um, story is something that's important for the country. I think these, these initiatives are to be applauded. Um, they are necessary, as I say, to, to help companies such as ourselves and others that we, that we compete against to benchmark themselves and, and make sure that we keep up to what is best practice worldwide, globally, in the field of integrated reporting. I really think that the initiative Nkonki has taken by doing this research, not only with the um, JSE top 100 companies, but also in the public sector, it is really important because, you know, and, and I think it's important not just in South Africa, but around the world, because it is by identifying those leading practices that others can see what's being done. They can see some of the benefits that come from that and they can start to emulate those examples. So I really take my hat off to them. I, I think, you know, these kinds of awards are going on in countries around the world and they are making a difference in the market and, and sort of incentivizing people to, to push ahead and make progress.